Okay, so Andreas Sim is finally back after six months. And if you guys don't know him, just go to his channel, check out his latest video. It is pretty, pretty awesome. And if you want, you can check out his previous works as well. The link to his channel is in the description down below. So in his latest video, he showed this particular map effect where he zoomed in into a particular monument in a city and then zoomed out and then certainly went into top view and then zoomed out again. So in this particular video of mine, I'm going to show this particular effect totally in Google Earth Pro and then modifying it just a little bit in both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. Like modifying it in the sense, you are going to shoot the video, you are going to record the screen of your video using the screen recorder or from your Google Earth Movie Maker and in post processing in Premiere Pro or in Final Cut Pro, you are doing a speed ramping. What you are doing is the movement between the monument and the top view it needs to be speed ramped like the speed of that particular position need to be speeded up smoothly and that is what speed ramping is all about now if you want a detailed tutorial on speed ramping i have already made a tutorial on that the link is in the bio you can check it out so making this effect on google alert is pretty simple and you can use the movie maker of your google alert to make this particular effect or what you can do is you can record the screen and then modify it in post processing the reason why I am telling you guys to record the screen rather than using the movie maker it is because if you don't have a powerful computer like if you don't have a computer which has a high RAM, high graphics card and all those other stuff then the inbuilt movie maker of Google Earth will slow your computer down because the inbuilt movie maker of Google Earth is a very powerful software and it will capture each and every details of your particular location. So for that particular thing, the processing time is a lot more compared to when you are screen recording. But in screen recording, there will be some compensation in the quality of your video. So if you want the maximum quality, you should use the movie maker of your Google Earth Pro. And that is exactly what I'm going to show in this video. And then what you need to do is you need to speed jump. I have showed this effect for speed ramping in this particular video as well and for detailed video the link is in the bio so you can check it out that's all with that being said what's up guys special sammy here well then to your newest video i hope you guys are having a great day with that being said let's get started okay so when you open google you will going to see this this is the map of las vegas so I have just unticked all the options from the layers. Only the 3D buildings and the trees are checked and the terrain is checked. So all the other options should be unchecked. And make sure to give it some time so that it can load up the 3D images because it will take some time. And it is better to find a place which has less number of cars because all these cars are fake and mechanically made to satellite. So it will definitely look fake. So make sure to have a place which has less cars and less trees. So I guess this one will be far better. This one has a little bit less number of cars compared to the previous one. And it looks better because the road is also wider than the previous one. So I'm going to set the camera angle to this particular position and go to top panel and you are going to see a yellow pin and click on the pin and adjust the position on top of the building right around here. And then you are going to see this particular option, set a name to this particular pin and click on OK. And then in the left panel, you are going to see place one, until the side scene tool and make sure to have only the place one. And then change the camera angle to top view like this. And then take it back to the building, change the camera view a little bit again, right around here and then zoom out. Go to the yellow pin, set a yellow pin again and set it at the corner of the building just like this and change the name to place 2 or whatever you feel like and click on OK. And then you are going to zoom it out further right around here, just a little bit more. Click on pin, set the pin to the corner again, change the name of the pin, it is up to you whatever you feel like, place 3 is better, click on OK. So now what you are going to do is we are going to make the pins transparent. So click on place one, right click, get info. Go to style and color, change the opacity to zero and change the opacity to zero and click on OK. Do the same thing for the other two as well. 
What this is basically doing is the pane which is visible in the map is now transparent. So you are not able to see this. So that when you record the screen, it will automatically be a transparent pin and it will automatically help you guys to actually record the screen properly. Now click on place one. And then go to the top panel, which is there. Go to tools, click on movie maker. And then you are going to see this option. And click on record from a saved tour. Start tour here, my places which is the one which you just chose right now and then click on save to you can choose your location and whatever you feel like I'm going to rename the clip to video there are the file types also it is up to you now click on create movie and mark my words this will definitely take some time depending on your computer depending on your processing speed this will definitely take some time in doing so i have just skipped that particular portion and this is the final result now what you can do is you can speed up the middle portions and just slow down the other portions so that you guys can have a very good speed ramping effect in this particular map effect. So you know how to do speed ramping, it is pretty simple for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So first I'm going to show for Final Cut Pro. It is a pretty simple method. So this is the clip of the map which I just showed before. Just choose the point where you want to speed up, click on Shift plus B. Choose the point where you want to slow down, Shift plus B. Choose the second point, Shift plus B. Choose the third point also, Shift plus B, and increase the speed like this. For detailed tutorial on speed ramping, I have already made a video, the link is there in the bio, you can watch them. So now, you have a cool speed ramping effect. Just let it render, otherwise it will not look good. So this is speed ramping clip. You can add some motion blurs also, I have already made a tutorial on that. Adding some motion blur to the speed ramping will also make it a lot better. So this is the speed ramping effect with the map effect. So now I'm going to show this effect for Premiere Pro as well. For Premiere Pro also it is pretty simple. This is the clip which I just showed before. Right click. Show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed. I'm going to increase the size so that I can understand it just a little better. So this is the portion where I am going to start the speed ramping. Click on the pen tool, click on P and click here. And this is the portion I am going to end the speed ramping. And this is the portion where I am going to start the speed ramping again. And this is the portion where I am going to end the speed ramping. Now just simply increase this to just increase the speed of the speed ramping. Do it for the second one as well. So let me just increase the sizes of this ones also. So in order to smooth and limb, just click on this once. You are going to see this options. Just drag this particular curve so that it curves a little bit, which will make it a smoother motion, which will make the motion a lot smoother. Just like this for this one as well. And do it for the other ones as well. And then your speed ramping effect is ready. It is pretty simple to use and a pretty, pretty good method to use. You can color grade this footages also. It will be much more cinematic. So that is pretty much it. That is how you do it. And that is how Android Sim did it. And you can add some motion blurs as well, just like Android Sim. I have already made a motion blur tutorial. The link is in the bio. And if you want a detailed speed ramping tutorial, the link is in the bio as well. Thank you 
so much for watching guys hope you would like my video so if you are into cinematography filmmaking videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff i do in my channel the free stuff the transitions the plugins the alerts the tutorials and all those other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the push notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time i make a new video so let's just join our hands and make this family make this community as big as we can and if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos for the later videos for the future videos so or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on Instagram at this particular link and I will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as I get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all this other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace